What's happening guys? This is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna show you how to install MIUI 9 on Redmi Note 3 with TWRP recovery. So without further ado, let's get started. To flash this ROM, first you need to go to MIUI official website which will be listed in the description box below. Go to this website and click on download full ROM from developer ROM section and make sure it's the global one not the China ROM. And you need one more file which is lazy flasher zip that will be listed also in the description box below so do not worry. As you can see I am on lineage OS right now so turn off the phone and boot into TWRP recovery by pressing the volume up and the power button together. Once you are booted into TWRP 3.0.2/2 recovery, go to wipe, then advanced wipe, wipe cache, Dalvik cache, system and data. Now go back, go to install, locate the ROM file we have downloaded earlier. Now swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being. And bam we faced a boot loop. It's because the storage just got encrypted. Do not worry I got you. As you can see it's stuck on the me logo right now. Again hold the volume up and the power button for a while. It will boot into TWRP recovery. Now once again go to install, locate and select the ROM file, then swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being. Once that's done, go back, flash the lazy flasher zip file. When that's done, hit reboot system. Your device will boot up fine within 10 to 15 minutes or longer. Just relax. Now as my device is successfully booted into MIUI 9, let me set everything up. Camera, faulty, calling, fingerprint scanner, data, everything works fine as it should and the experience is really better here. Apps opens up a little bit faster when compared to MIUI 8. Only sad part here is MIUI 9 for Redmi Note 3 is still based on Android Marshmallow. While we have at least 3 to 4 audio based custom ROMs already. If you do think that way, give this video a big thumbs up but don't close the video yet. Now let's see what's new here. The clock widget looks new with weather, app icon animations after closing first party apps like camera, dialer, messaging, browser etc. You see that? Tad bit changed home screen settings area.
Now from here itself you can change the launchers if you have installed any. We have two new themes here. And from the lock screen, you can swipe left for the torch and mid remote and swipe right for camera is there. App lock is working fine. Three finger swipe for screenshots is working fine too. In case you are wondering. And the widget panel looks a bit different to me. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you have any questions, queries or suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. If this video helped you out, give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends if you feel like it. Subscribe to the channel if you appreciate my work, it's totally free. And don't forget to click the bell icon next to the subscribe button because when each upcoming video goes live, you will get notified instantly. That's been it. Thank you for watching. This is Tito from Carry Tech signing off. You guys have an amazing day. Bye bye now.